Hello everyone, this video is intended to help make things easier for you to capture uh, images off of your screen. Uh, for the longest time, even though I consider myself to be a fairly, you know, fairly knowledgeable computer user on how to do different little things, shortcuts and navigating my way around uh, the internet and various uh, applications and things like that. But for the longest time, my method of saving a, an image from a screen or getting a screen capture was essentially to use the print screen feature on my uh, on my computer on my computer uh, keyboard, the print screen. Then take that image and paste it into uh, Paint, and then uh, crop that image in Paint, and then you know save it as a JPEG, and then go ahead and use that picture, insert that picture. You know if I'm using it for PowerPoint or whatever I am. So. Uh, that was my, you know, method that I knew how to do uh, use. And then uh, just recently, uh, something maybe that many of you have probably already been using, probably. And you know, it's one of these things where, hey, you know, I think uh, you think you know how to do a lot of things on the computer, you feel pretty good, and then you find out something so simple, and you've been doing it, you know, the wrong, the hard way, uh, the much more difficult way. Uh, and then it's like, golly, how I should wish I would have been using this a long time ago. So this is called the snipping tool. So the way to pull up the snipping tool, let's say I want to get a, you know, some text or maybe this picture from Huey Long. Maybe it's not on uh, Huey Long's former governor, former senator from Louisiana. He was assassinated. So, uh, so maybe I'm using this for a class presentation uh, for my class or something like that. So the snipping tool, I'm going to hit the Windows key on my keyboard, and I'm just going to type S N I. All right. So there's the snipping tool right there. So this little uh, toolbox pops up and I'm gonna click uh, new a new snip and then basically all I gotta do is click and drag around anything on here that I want to use so if I wanted this picture you know I could click and I could uh, you know I could save that little one as a snip right there or maybe some of this text you wanted to use as a source for a uh, test question or maybe a uh, you know for a PowerPoint presentation or just whatever you need to use so let's say we want this picture and some of this text below here I could just uh, click and drag around that and then this pops up just like that and then all you do is you go and you you know save it as a JPEG and then you could go and you know insert that into any uh, document that you want so it's super easy super simple you know you can tweak there's a you know there's different tools up here you can use to tweak with but anyway just this snipping tool itself has been you know amazing for me and like man I can't believe I was never using this so if you've not used the snipping tool and you want to know how to do things a little easier to get screen captures uh, I highly suggest it so again you know I use the uh, Windows key on my keyboard and just type S N I find the snipping tool and there's different modes here you can do a rectangular you can do free form I use it on just leave it on rectangular so a new snip and you maybe you wanted some of this text right here you could just you know do that right there and then next thing you know boom there you have it you could save that image right there you could pop that into you know whatever kind of document you might need if you needed something like that so you can use this for anything so screen capturing uh, using things you find on the internet into your own presentations or your own documents things like that um, super easy super cool if you haven't tried the snipping tool I highly recommend it and I hope this was helpful to you hey if you haven't subscribed to my channel it's hoof45 and we do all kind of helpful things like this go ahead and subscribe and I appreciate your support thank you